Hey everyone, your friendly neighborhood pants is back with another Summer's War video. Today I want to play around with Rakan, which is one of the winners in the most recent balance patch, and I'm kind of excited about whenever I read the balance patch notes, he was the first one that stood out to me. Of course, uh, Dominic ended up being the true winner of the balance patch, but Rakan, I think, is uh, pretty solid. So I want to talk about how I have him ruined and how I'm currently using him, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first things first, I'll say he's more of a siege defense unit than anything else in my eyes. I know uh, like Sean tried using him in RTA and it's more of a meme team. His uh, counterattack isn't super reliable, but as far as siege defenses go, I think he brings a fair amount of RNG to your defense and does a significant amount of damage. So he's a really good threat on siege defenses in place of Herna or any other kind of fire damage. My first thoughts were Nana, Savannah, Rakan, and almost immediately I switched back to Perna. I think this defense is just strictly better. The uh, best Nana defenses I know generally use LD5s, but this is what I can use. And this just has so much revive. So if you kill them, they're coming back guaranteed. Savannah's getting knocked off her beast. Burnin's got a second life. Nana's got the, the passive. So unless you're doing anti-revive units, they're coming back and they're coming back with a vengeance because you have two AOE defense breaks. You got two strips. You got lots of damage. You got the accuracy lead, so stuff is going to land. Whereas Rakan didn't have an additional life, had no healing. It just didn't seem to make as much sense there. So where I am using him is in place of Perna in the Sierra Orion Perna defense instead of Sierra Orion Rakan, which I think has been pretty great. I mean, just looking at defense wins, Nana Savannah Perna 5 and 3. I think the Rakan went like 0 and 4 or something before I switched it out. And then the Sierra Orion Rakan hasn't seen a ton of play, but 1 and 2 so far. So that's great in my eyes because in g3 siege most of the time your defense is loose that's to be expected so if i can even get like one in five i'm happy so as i talk about runes i'm going to show replays from two offenses that i showed in my how to counter co ryan perna video which if you missed that video you can check that out but i brought up a whole bunch of different counters to co ryan perna and two of them in particular that are relatively safe i think are less safe against this version of this defense strictly because rakan gives himself immunity and well i shouldn't say strictly because that's one of the reasons the other one is the aoe provoke so with the suicide team for example you're using cyan to bomb but you can't bomb rakan rakan will have immunity so those bombs are not going on him. The other one is the Galleon Triana Alicia team. And with that team, you can't land defense break on Rakan. Usually that doesn't matter. Usually Alicia has enough damage regardless. So what really screws you is the AOE provoke. Because if Orion strips one of your water units, Rakan is going to hit your Triana, strip the Triana, provoke the Triana, and then also provoke the water unit. Whereas with the Perna version, the Triana just takes damage, but she's fine. She can heal whoever got defense broken or got provoked. Rakan will provoke two units and that's how you lose. Now, both of those teams will still win against this defense the majority of the time, but they seem significantly worse than the Sierra Orion Perna version, which is great because these are two common counters that I know people use. So this is better. As far as uh, ruining Rakan, I think Violent will. Violent is always the best as far as siege defenses go. You could try Vampire, you could try Despair, you could try different things, but like why go anything other than Violent unless your rune quality just won't let you. I do think Will is great for him, especially if you plan to use him on offense at all. I understand these stats are tough to get, like it was hard for me to make this happen, but you want speed, crit damage, HP, attack, accuracy. He's a stat hungry unit like a lot of units are these days. He also has relatively low base attack, which is unfortunate because he scales really well on attack. Good news is he buffs his own attack, so at least there's that. Just a fair amount of attack, fair amount of HP, and then speed tuned to the Orion. For Rakan's artifacts, I have damage dealt on elements for his left side artifact. The additional damage by speed I wish was, you know, damage dealt on anything else, damage dealt on light, damage dealt on water, I think would be better. The additional damage by speed is, you know, helpful, but it's minor. And then over here, I have skill three accuracy, just because I don't have much accuracy from the runes. And I think that provoke is, I don't want to say crucial, but it's really, really good. Like particularly in the case of the Galleon Alicia Triana, it's that provoke of two different units that I think wins it for you. Whereas other cases, there probably doesn't matter as much you just want as much damage as you can but luckily this artifact also has a little more damage aspects the attack increasing effect the additional damage by attack and then the crit damage are all kind of good things as far as main stats go i would say attack and hp because that way he's doing more damage and getting a little tankier as far as uh, overall runes on my defense the uh, important thing with sierra is to have 100 crit rate to maximize turn cycling you want a decent amount of accuracy i have 68 with my artifact you can see 
skill two accuracy 10 percent so 68 total which is okay um if you can get 85 that's sweet but sierra like rakan is incredibly difficult to ruin plus 147 gets her to the 286 breakpoint so i recommend trying to go for that and then just as much stats as you can possibly get on her hp attack defense and then additional damage on her artifacts she doesn't necessarily need Will in this particular case, but like I said with Rakan, if you're planning to use her on offense at all, Will is really good in that case. Orion, he's the one that's versatile. I mean, really, the defense itself is versatile. You could do a completely different, you could slow it down and make it super tanky to be an HP trap kind of defense. So if someone tries cleaving it, they find like, holy crap, this guy has like a gazillion water damage reduction or wind damage reduction or fire damage reduction, whatever you think people are going to use against it. And, uh, you know, screw them in a different way. I've seen people do like triple will Orions, do shield will, you do swift, you can do violent. So swift, the goal there is if someone tries to outspeed and cleave you with like a Garrow Draco type of thing, if you're faster, well, you're probably going to win. Similarly, violent is if they're bringing a slower team, will you have more turns to potentially screw whatever their slow team is? Violent Orion is better against like that Galleon Elysia team that I showed and the uh, suicide team that I showed. Important things to consider regarding speed on this defense is turn order is of course Orion moving first, then Rakan, then Sierra. That way you have two strips moving before your Sierra, giving her the biggest opportunity to land a bomb on someone. Next most important thing is to actually be tuned to your Orion. So however fast your Orion is, your other two units need to be up at his level so the enemy offense can't cut in between. And if you don't know much about speed tuning, here's a quick tip. If you don't know how to speed tune your units, you can always just go trial and error. What I mean by speed tuning is Will my Orion cut in between the Rakan? Since the Orions are the exact same speed, the tie will go to the offense, so I will go first. If the Orion goes next, then I am not speed tuned. I need to make my Rakan faster, so I move before the enemy Orion. And you can do that simply by a trial and error with doing a mirror match like this. So, of course, tie goes to the offense, so I'm going to move. Again, if my Rakan moves next, I'm good. If my Rakan gets cut by the enemy Orion, that's bad. You can see I moved. So I'm fine here. We'll just play for fun. The pal. Nice surrender there. That's always fun. Don't need to explode it. Um, I probably could have bombed the Rakan's against himself in the unit. That's fine. I do kind of wish I gave him the uh, provoke on the range. That's kind of cool. But it is what it is. Look at that. Totally got wrecked. That's fun. <laughs> Didn't matter that I outsped. Just as a quick example. Same exact mirror. The only thing is I removed a rune from Rakan. So now we're going to see at this speed, will my Orion cut after my Orion? I know that's a little awkward, but the tie will go to the offense, as I've said before. So I will move, but more than likely, the enemy Orion will move next. I guess my Sierra moved. But you see there, my Orion cut before my Rakan, which didn't happen before. So that's a little means you can do of speed testing. Of course, you want your Sierra also speed tuned to your Orion. So this was a good test to see if my Sierra was speed tuned. And she is. Again, you can just do the math or you can use the summoners or optimizer tool to do this. But if you're lazy, this is a quick way to do it. Just do a mirror match. If you take all the turns, that's what you want. If you don't take all the turns, mess with your speed. I believe his multipliers are actually more beneficial from attack than they are HP, which is just like, why is it like that? Maybe if there was like a buff HP buff and it was just strictly HP multiplier, that'd be cool because he's doing an attack buff. So I guess that's uh, their way of, you know, taking care of that. But maybe they should come out with a new buff that buffs HP. Kind of like uh, the water bear buffs his own HP whenever he does his skill too. Something like that. That's a temporary 20% buff to max HP. So he does more damage on his skill three. I don't know. It, it just seems a little awkward that damage dealt is proportionate to your max HP, but also attack and kind of more so attack. Like why? I think he is more of a defense unit, but that doesn't mean you can't ever use him on offense. There are times where, you know, it can make some sense. So let's say there's a Nana Savannah Perna, for example, the water unit has no strip and Savannah is only a single target strip, Perna is a single target strip. So your con in theory will have permanent immunity unless your wind tank that is uh, taking Perna's AI, targeting AI, will, like a Perna kills the wind unit, then he'll switch over to Rakan, that kind of thing. So anyways, I think Riley is really good here. Uh, Riley is just a solid pair for him for additional immunity, uh, the additional attack buff, plenty of healing, and then to take Perna's attention. So can't go wrong with Riley ever. Nana is just busted. So if you have Nana, you can use Nana. So this is like a, I don't want to say a mirror, but 
call it a pseudo mirror or something. Um, but yeah, Rakan will have permanent immunity. He'll be provoking. He'll be dealing a substantial amount of damage. And uh, as soon as Perna dies, you basically win. So, again, why do I say again and then say the same thing? That's weird, right? Like, I don't need to repeat myself, do I? Seems awkward. I guess I did get defense broken a couple times, so if those defense break into proc into proc, my Riley probably would have died. So maybe I need 100 resistance on my Riley. I think I have 75 is what I saw on Violent Revenge. But she is thick. She has like plus 36k HP or something like that. And uh, yeah, and even if she did die, Nano would bring her back. And so all I would need to do is kill someone and get more Nano stacks. So I feel like it would just be more annoying, but be okay. So do this if you can. So I think that's it for Rakan. A uh, relatively quick video. If you are running a, a siege defense with Rakan, or if you found a, a particularly good offense that you like playing him with, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to see how other people are using him. I wish he had a, a better transmog because his default is kind of meh, but I don't like all the other ones that he has either. Going on a tangent there. Rakan, he's pretty good. Build Rakan if you have him. It's worth it.